Okay, hi everybody and welcome to the Impex demo. Impex is designed to be used by the end users and for that reason the import process is broken down into simple stages. The export process is, again is very simple. So what we're going to do in the demo, we're going to do an import, then we'll have a look at what we've imported, then we'll export it again back to CSV. From the developer's point of view, it can be used in two ways. You can use it, the quickest way is just to use this starter app. Just add your files to the dictionary and recompile it and away you go. And then it is a standalone import export utility. Or it comes with TXA and uh, TXD files to import into your own app, your main app. Okay, so we go to import and as you can see it's set up for a dbase import delimited which could be comma tab etc or flat ascii which is a data data file type which has no delimit delimiters the each field is a fixed length um i think possibly you won't come across it much but maybe from uh mainframe computers that's all we're going to go into import here first stage is we'll select a file here and i've got one i did earlier <laughs> demo.csv and here's a lot of this is a sort of preview button so i can just have a quick look see uh, set out the text fields are in double quotes so that that means that um, commas will show up okay within the text so that looks okay i've clicked the box here yes it has got double quotes Skip the first record because when you look at that, you can see usually the first line of a CSV has got the field labels, which we don't want added as a record. So in this case, we're going to skip the first record. We'll leave it to zero. We want to bring them all in. But this might be useful if you had, say, a record with uh, a file with hundreds of thousands of records and you only wanted to do a test of 10, something like that. End of carriage is not a very usual occurrence. So that could be skipped or hidden if you wanted to and typically it'll be a comma that they're importing from so we'll go to the next step and again you see it's laid out simple for them <laughs> uh, step one for the user is reading the first record boom and it reads in that header and they can actually scroll through the record here as well if they want to uh, say for example one of these field labels isn't exactly clear what that is they can see number nine is a date and they'll go through like that so this is the import file and this is the destination file which has probably some fields this one doesn't and vice versa so you can either drag across like that although when you've got the similar file names it's quicker to just map by name so it will map up state city and so on so it's done quite a few of them for us uh, address one here is called address line one so we'll drag that over country I haven't got so we can leave that next contact date I can put in there notes field as a memo again we haven't got that on the import file and we'll just put that one up there for the sake of it and then we're all ready to go lined up we need to click start now if this is a field they're going to want to import on a regular basis the best thing to do is save it I'm we'll just call this demo two, and there we've got it again, and that's already done. So, if I wanted to, I could then retrieve that next time. Just select demo two, and it will do all this lining up for me. So I've got this lined up now. I'm ready to go. Click start. That was it done, and let's go and see what's come in. And here's the data that's come in. Um, no notes as I said actually I don't think there were any contact dates uh, in the CSV file and that's it there ready to go um, one click is an even simpler option for users this is where you you know the layout of the incoming file and you set it all, all up for them so all they have to do literally you can even hide these menu options here if you want they go in here and click one click and it imports all the records according to the layout that you've saved and and that's it for them um, I won't click it now because we've already imported them but the other way that one click can be used is as a command line so this way it 
if you had a regular, say, weekly import of data, you could schedule the import um, starter app here to run with a command line, which would include the location of the CSV, the number of the layout, remember, that we saved back here. So in the export, we'll go here, and there are quite a few different options here. Let's just change that file name there. And this dbase3, dbase4, etc., and HTML. That's quite an interesting one we can have a look at in a minute. Um, delimited asking, set the date, you can set the delimiter, defaults to the common ones, and you can select all the, the particular fields. So if you only, if they say, well, we only need, or the, the where they're exporting to only needs a couple of fields, you can do that. So we'll tag them all here. And say, for example, we'd set up these options and tagged fields uh, in quite a big file because this is your file here, obviously, or the, the demo data one in the dictionary. Um, you can then save those those taggings and those selections so you don't even have to do them again. Just a handy little time saver. So we've set it all up as we want. We're going to say start. Okay, here we are in the development folder, and that's the one there. You can see there's the data being export, exported again. And it's showing up here as a Excel type file because I've associated the CSV with Excel, which most people probably have done. We click that and it will by default open up into um, Excel there. There's all your data again. The other option is HTML pages, and this is handy for formatting your data ready for web apps or uh, websites. And you'll go through, you can just create one big page. I'll create 10 records per page because it will show you the uh, let's click that 10, the numbering, the next previous buttons and so on, stuff like that. And it's in the form of a table and you can have predefined HTML, which will show you what that looks like in a second for the header and the footer and you can set out various things like the table or table width it automatically resizes for the screen uh, that it's set for so let's run the web browser immediately afterwards okay save that oh and you can also put a website here if you want to hard code particular references into it um, start as you can see it's popped up there I Think you can see everything there that's in the window this is the header area and the footer area which just contains predefined you probably have something a bit nicer than that uh, images or something and here we've got next shows you on to page two next previous and we're just scrolling through the data that's been generated and as you can see it can be resized um, just to get it all fitted in it's uh, so, okay, so that's the HTML export, and as before, with the export options, you can save them, uh, so you don't have to keep. Uh, oh, oops, you don't have to keep setting all this stuff up. If it's a regular export, obviously that's handy, so you can just set all the options. I think I've covered just about everything there in the demo. Uh, you've got the contact details on the screen there. Send me an email if you've got any questions or leave a question on my Facebook page and um, I'll get back to you straight away. Okay, thanks.